for this um, braid we'll be making, I'll be making use of Super Braid as an expression product. I got the bigger one and it's color two. So I have feathered my extension already, I've feathered them and I've sorted them out already. So I'll be making use of my um, rubber band. So I've soaked it in here in this ice cream can in um, hoy. So I'll just section my hair and then wrap it in rubber band. And then I'll also be making use of my crochet pin. So guys, just sit back and enjoy the rest of the video while I section my hair and then Alright guys, now I'm done sectioning my hair and wrapping with rubber bands and I have already prepared each extension so as to prevent me from wasting time as we do the video. So here I have done the back part and this is what it looks like. I just left like three of the hair I'll braid just to show us how I achieved this knotless braid. So I'm just going to twist the end of the of my extension and then use my crochet pin to pass it through my hair underneath the rubber band just like as I'm about to do now. Yes, I'm going to start from side to side and from the upper part to the down part. So just watch and then you're going to understand what I'm doing. So I had to twist the end of each extension that like a few inches towards the end of each extension in order to prevent um, forcing the bulky extension through the hair. But this other size is quite smaller so I can just pick it from the middle just like, like so. So the first extension I pass through the hair is a bit bulky and the second one i'm passing from the upper part just like so is not as much as that one thereby making it easier to pass through the hair so um this is the best method to achieve this so just like as you can see i have i have four sections right on my i have four extensions like four sections of the extension right on my hair and I'm gonna join the upper part and the down part to make one and then I have the one on the sides which makes it a total of three so I'm going to divide my natural hair I'm gonna split it into these three parts so um, it will not be ov obvious on the hair so just like I've just done and then the next thing is to underbraid the underbraid is the method which i'm going to use to achieve this in order to hide the rubber band just like so as you can see the rubber band is not um, visible anymore so i'm just going to continue the braid like this and then 
um, tie a knot at the end of each braid. So I'm done with this first one and if you still don't understand you can watch how I do the other ones. Again I'm going to twist few inches to the end of the extension and for easy passage and then I'm going to pass it through from the side to side and then from the upper part to the lower end to the down part. 